Hello students, I am Chaitanya, Physics Faculty at Shishakti International School. In this video, today we are going to learn about an important topic of chapter Electric Potential and Capacitance from 12th Standard. Electric Potential and Capacitance. From this chapter, we are going to learn a topic potential due to a dipole due to a dipole electric potential due to a dipole okay so now in this case to understand this first thing we have to understand what is a dipole always remember a dipole is a system of positive and a negative charge of equal magnitude which are separated by a distance d we can take the total distance as d or else we can take the distance from the center to each charge can be taken as either r and r okay in dipoles mostly the distances will be measured from the center so this will be used more often now since you got the hold of what is a dipole it is a system of positive and negative charges of equal magnitude separated by a distance d we have to understand about dipole moment dipole moment dipole moment is a product of charge and the distance between them okay charge and the distance between them we will represent the dipole moment as p p is equal to q into d or we can write the same formula as q into 2r so basically dipole moment will give you the strength of a dipole and moreover dipole moment it is a vector quantity vector quantity okay now the vector quantities has direction always remember the dipole moment direction will be from negative to positive this will be the direction direction will be from negative to positive that means it will be going from negative charge to positive charge this is your dipole moment okay it will give the strength of the two particular charges okay now when we are understanding about electric potential the general formula for force electrostatic force we have learned is k q1 q2 divided by r square the general formula for electric field E is equal to K Q divided by R square. The general formula for potential due to any particular charge is K Q divided by R. This is the general formula for potential. And potential is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity. Okay. Since potential is a scalar quantity, this potential can be positive or it can be negative also we have to substitute this charge the charge should be substituted along with its sign so basically if you are understanding if there is minus q charge at a distance of r from this particular point okay if i am asking you to find the potential you are going to write it as k q divided by r with a negative sign because the charge is negative if the same way if i am asking for plus q charge okay at the same distance r the potential here will be plus kq divided by r okay so i hope you understood how we will be generally writing the potential formula now we are analyzing potential due to a dipole now in this case we are going to analyze three special uh, cases in this condition we are going to analyze three special cases that is one is axial point first one axial point means let's say we are having a two dipoles this is a negative charge one dipole okay a positive charge q separated by a distance r and r axial point means the line the point we we are taking along the line joining those two charges this is let's say this is one particular point at this point i want you to analyze the potential due to the dipole 
let's say the distance from here to here can be taken as L. Since I told you the distances will be generally measured from the center of a dipole. So now from here to here the distance is going to be R. So this distance from here to here can be written as L minus R. And the distance from here to that particular charge will be written as L plus R. So having this condition, having this configuration, if you are writing to, if you are finding that uh, potential, okay, this is first charge, let's say this is the second charge, at this particular point, since potential is a scalar quantity, we can directly add V1 plus V2. When we are writing V1, it is K Q1 divided by R1 plus K Q2 divided by R2. In this, we have to substitute the charges along with their sign and corresponding distances we have to substitute. That means K minus KQ divided by L plus R and plus KQ divided by L minus R. These are the values we will be getting. Now, if we are solving it, KQ if you are taking common 1 by L minus R minus of 1 by L plus R. Taking an LCM of it will give us L minus L square minus R square L plus R minus of L minus R into KQ. Further solving this, further solving it, we can write it as KQ into L plus R minus L plus R divided by L square minus R square. So cancelling these two L's, we will be ending up with a value kq into 2r divided by l square minus r square this is the general formula now from this expression v net we got it to be k 2 kq into r divided by l square minus r square okay now if we know the dipole moment p can be written as 2 times of q into r we can rearrange this formula or redo this formula as v net is equal to k p divided by l square minus r square if in the given equation we are having l is much 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 greater than r then we can neglect r so the final equation of it will become v net is equal to k p divided by l square this is the magnitude of potential this is the value of potential due to a dipole moment at an axial point potential due to a dipole at an axial point can be written as kp divided by l square in the same way if you are doing equatorial point potential due to a dipole at an equatorial point we have a positive charge negative charge q and a positive charge plus q these two are separated by distance r and r this will be the equatorial point equatorial point is a point which is perpendicular to the center from the center if we are trying to find what is the potential due to these two charges since potential is a scalar we can add them individually v1 plus v2 so since here the potential due to e both the charges will be same because the distance between these two let's say if we are taking this as length l this will be l square plus r square and this distance will also be l square plus r square since these two distances are same v net will be coming out to be minus kq divided by under root of l square plus r square whole square plus kq divided by whole not whole square yeah l square plus r square kq divided by under root of l square plus r square cancelling these two we will get v net zero i hope you understood this one we'll meet in the next video thank you